let's talk about the most used tools when pattern making, drafting, and modifying sewing patterns. But welcome back or welcome to the channel, all my new supporters, subscribers, viewers, etc. This channel is about mostly sewing, so consider subscribing and make sure you hit that bell notification to be notified of all my new videos. And now let's get into the video. Starting off with scissors. You never want to use your fabric scissors on paper and your paper scissors on fabric. You want to make sure you have a separate set for each one because if you don't, you will dull them out. Get a pair that has a flat bottom just like your fabric scissors so it's easier to cut on a tabletop. See-through rulers, also known as clear rulers or transparent rulers. Red lines indicating a sixteenth of an inch, one eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, half an inch, and one inch itself. They come in various sizes, 1x6, 2x18, and everything in between. This ruler is helpful when drawing parallel lines, straight lines, 40 and 90 degree lines, and keep your patterns squared and balanced. A notcher. Notches are placed on corresponding pattern pieces used to mark matching points. They also help you find the seam allowance width, tell the difference from the front and back, indicate center points, dart legs, zippers, gathers, and so on. Curved rulers. French curved ruler, hip curved ruler, they come in different sizes, help you draw perfect and curved seams, curved armholes, necklines, sleeves, curved hemlines, and so on. Up next is a seam ripper, a razor, or a blade. These help you take clothes apart when you want to replicate them, also known as knockoff. Writing tools, your pencils, lead pencils, red markers, erasers, and sharpeners, all those tools you need in pattern making, Tracing wheel. Another method to knock off your clothes without taking everything apart. It's super sharp, transfers seams onto paper, or transfers sewing patterns onto paper. L square ruler. Helpful when squaring lines when you don't have pattern paper or number paper. This tool also helps you make sure everything is leveled and balanced. An awl. An awl is used to put holes on patterns, indicating to burn or mark a hole onto the fabric, which is placed inside a hidden seam to hide the marking, known as a dart back off point. Also used for pocket placements, trim, and for chewing pattern pieces to make sure pattern pieces match lengthwise. Yardstick. To draw longer lines, such as center back and center front on patterns, skirts, pants, etc. Transparent tapes. Removable tape and regular tape. Use when piecing patterns together, lengthen or shorten patterns, cutting along old and new dart lines on a pattern, and taping the old dart closed. Compass. To draw pivot circles, buttons, and to make spacing between buttons and buttonholes. Pins. Just like your scissors, you want to have a separate set for your paper. Helpful when cutting symmetrical pattern pieces so the paper underneath doesn't slip. Used when knocking off clothing, and you can use them as an awl as well. Paper. Pattern paper is useful for line placement, keep things level, it's thin enough that you can transfer other patterns underneath. An alternative for this is tracing paper slash medical paper, brown craft paper, parchment paper, and builder's paper. Oak tag paper, also known as manila paper, and builder's paper can be used to make your blocks and slopers. These are the most used tools when pattern making, drafting, and modifying sewing patterns. And all of these can be bought on a small budget. And as you become more experienced, you can buy more tools to be more efficient. And that is a wrap for today's video. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. And lastly, remember to share this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.